Hey guys, and welcome to Toy Story 2 Buzz Lightyear to the Rescue. Hello. This this game, oh my goodness. So this game I grew up with. Um, mm -hmm. And it is, in my opinion, still a pretty solid game. Okay. I have no experience in this in this world. Okay, well this is Toy Story. It is a Disney Pixar movie. Okay, I have experience in Toy Story. Oh, <laughs> I don't okay. have experience in this video game or what came before it. Um, I don't know if there's any game that was made by Activision before this, but we're gonna we're gonna jump right in, and you're gonna immediately see that it is it's. Is reminiscent of the Toy Story 2 game or movie. It I just mean. ripped the entire front of Andy's house off, huh? Yeah, well, you know. Stealing Woody. Stealing Woody. Oh. Woody. Oh. Woody. Yeah, it is basically just. So, well, okay. In the same vein of how it is very loosely, the. Uh, the, the movie for Treasure Planet. Uh, this also is uh, loosely the... It, it expands on it. On Honestly, it probably expands on the better part of Toy Story 2, since the main plot is not good. <laughs> you, you don't like Toy Story 2? I would rather watch the toys explore the neighborhood and the toy store more than whatever Woody's dealing with existentially. But but he was famous. Yeah, and he was about to leave somebody he loved for fame. Isn't that nice? That just seems like a relatable topic. <laughs> and then I am like, okay, I get it. Jesse was left. That's a very good song and you did drive emotion with that song. But I don't care. <laughs> they were all like, Woody, give up your life so that we can also have a life. And by life, I mean live in a museum. And you... I am Buzz Lightyear. I come in peace. Well, thank you, Buzz. But and you don't... Oh, wow. So wait. Which one do you think is better? Two or three? Uh, Well, to be honest, I barely remember three. Okay. Uh, and I really don't like Bonnie. That's the name of the kid, right? Yeah, that's the new kid, yeah. Yeah, I don't like her. Especially in 4. I didn't like her at all. Um, Why? Is it because guess, she made Forky? Do you not like Forky? I don't care about Forky. Forky's fine. My, I, my issue with her is she's a brat. <laughs> she's 5. Yeah, an they, annoying 5. They all are... All 5-year-olds are, are annoying brats. No, no. She's got something... Something very unique about her that made me go, you know, oh no, they put the, refle the reflection of his face? That's so distracting. What do you mean? How you see that his be face projected <laughs> across the screen. Oh gosh. All right, well, let's, okay. let's leave Andy's room. Andy's room I, is not cool. I'm not saying that Toy Story 2 is bad in its entirety. I just would rather watch the toys explore the neighborhood. I thought that was much more interesting. Them trying to find everybody and getting lost in the toy store. That was cool. All that, like, um, crossing the street under traffic cones, like, looking at life at a different perspective type thing. That's all very cool. What was that? Oh, there you go. And then they would cut back to Woody, and I was like, all right, okay. So, so, so you're more of a space person than a... Uh, than... Than, than a cowboy person. No. I thought that... Uh, it, so... Maybe it's because I started Toy Story with the first one, but the first one has a special place in my heart because I had it on VHS, and I would replay it all the time, and I felt when Woody was like, I'm being replaced. I felt that, and I'm like, Woody, I'm so sorry. And it's not a Woody issue that I have. I just don't care about his storyline in the second movie. So you hate stuffed dolls. Oh my goodness. No, there's no... No, it's not... You're alienating it's not that complicated. our stuffed doll uh, audience. 
I just don't. I don't right. know. You know what? Uh, oh, and now you're leaving tracks. I really don't see myself getting excited about that part into. But like, I don't know. I like Toy Story generally. I think it's a great idea. So this, this, we are literally racing the RC car and we are about to win. RC did almost drive himself out a window once, so. That, yeah, well. Have, have you ever had like an RC car? Yeah. Cause as far as I can remember, I believe my dad had an RC car and it was an RC Jeep that was like really big and really cool and i've i've wanted an rc oh no we keep on playing um i wanted like an rc car uh for the longest time and now that i'm an adult i don't have money for an rc car oh so you know how you leave your garage with uh power tools running Absolutely, all the time. Or is it even a garage if you don't have buzz saws running? And three drill presses? Yeah. My thing is, are these did 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 Andy's mom leave them on? Or is this implying that these saws have sentience? Oh, oh that's true. If the toys are alive, everything can be alive. That's that's not how that shovel would have stayed. No, 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 no. Oh, I forgot. I can get here. And then... All right, don't track mud on the car now. Why not? What or was what? it oil? You probably stepped in oil. Oh, oh, the super laser. I got the super laser. It's a one-hit kill to everything around here. What are you killing, by the uh, way? <laughs> uh, Zerg uh, robots. Zerg robots. So yeah. other toys. Yes, other toys, but they work for the evil emperor Zerg. And you are you are okay and justified about the murder. Yeah. Okay. If, if no no, 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 no issues, no, not no, a qualm. No. Oh, whoops. Okay. All right, let's find Mr. Potato Head because we oh, we have apparently completed his uh, quest by finding his ear. Oh. Did we find Mr. Potato Head? Uh, we haven't found Mr. Potato Head, but we have found his ear. But we were given a quest. By who? By by Mr. Potato Head to well, find his ear. N uh, we will if we find him. I see. The, w our, the goal of this is literally to, to just get Pizza Planet tokens. Oh, no. He's in the attic? That's where toys go to die. Really? I thought that was the upper shelf. That is also the upper shelf. That's true. Depending on how tall you are. All right. Instead of going up here, can I just jump up here? I can. This looks like a friendly fella. <laughs> Defeat the tin robot to get a token. Wait, did he what say that you? to you? I don't know. Is that his catchphrase? That, what, that he refers to himself in the third person? Yeah. <laughs> because it was laughing. Yeah. Or, <laughs> or I guess it could be Zerg. The, the, you know, the evil emperor. Sort of doing like, uh, he's controlling the robot and he's speaking through it like walkie-talkie-like. Sure. That, that makes sense. <laughs> wow. We are just straight up murdering other toys just destroying all right let's find so that was the big thing for this for this 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 level oh so mr potato head's not up there N i i guess i guess he's not i kind of thought oh. he was but uh, i didn't see him in this room so let's let's see there's only one place left in the house to check so they took down all the pictures of Andy's family, but is the is the chair still there? Oh, there's the the chair. The chair, you know, in the beginning of Toy Story, where Andy puts Woody down on the chair and then he brings the leg up so that it launches him across the room. 
Mr. Potato Head. Uh, yes. See, okay, so we found his ear, and he'll... Oh, he'll, he'll let us use the cosmic shield. Which Why makes do you sense. have this power, Potato Head? Why? What? Um, um... Okay. Um... 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 Oh, okay. Also, who made this mess in the basement? What do you mean? Okay, you don't you sure. don't have toxic sludge in your basement? Not at the moment. Do you even have I don't have a basement. Nope. <laughs> no, oh, that was a ground pound. Well, that was that was not. That was oh, not no, what was the necessary. sludge just drains your battery. Yeah, oh, there's Bo Peep sheep. So, let's let's get this one more time. And let's jump Come on, come on, we can go through. I think, I think... Yeah, yeah, it's a, on a timer thing. And, okay. And you, you can't jump as high when you have the shield. That's why I wasn't able to get up here. But yeah, this this game, like, I think... Uh, I, I, I found this game on eBay because it was one of the games that I had as a kid that was accidentally sold during a yard sale in my childhood. Oh, oh no. Geez. How how on brand? Yeah, well, yeah, that actually. Wow, okay. Yeah, actually <laughs> that is a uh, very on brand, isn't it? Um and I went ahead and uh found it now on eBay. And uh yeah, this game just I ended up beating it within like a day I just had off from work and I ended up beating it again or, or I should say I ended up beating it for the first time because uh, as a kid I obviously never beat it because mean obviously because <laughs> if there's anything that this channel has proved is that games that I love and I like have a passion for I haven't beaten oh well, like dishonored well. I was like, wait a minute, have I never beaten Dishonored? And then, wow. And then, uh, Treasure Planet, I only played like the first three levels of, apparently. So you just don't beat video games? I, I do now, but I guess that, that used to not be my MO. Hmm. I uh, mean, I guess that, I guess I get that because it wasn't about how quickly you could beat it. It was about enjoying it. Wait, what? Why is... Um... Bo Peep had one sheep with three heads, yet you are collecting that one sheep with three heads multiple times. Yeah, she has three. But... Okay. She has three sheep with three heads. That's not how that works. What do you mean? I mean, it is in the game, I guess. And Ugh, wait, terrifying. Yeah. It's honestly scary. It's giving me Star Fox vibes. Oh, they did that same thing too, didn't they? The big, the big villain face. Yeah, I get Bo Peep. Thank you. Five missing sheep. Look, at I'm that. sorry, Bo you Peep. Lied you lied to me. You, you're not getting, you're not getting your sheep. This armchair, you mean? Yeah. This one, yeah. And then you ground pound on it. And, and you get what, flung. Uh, oh, yes! Yeah, I did that earlier. I, I just didn't you, realize it was that chair. Yeah, it was the chair. Oh, there's another sheep. No, Two no, sheep. No, don't, don't, no, don't. One sheep. Come well, on. So glad Buzz doesn't take fall damage. Like a true astronaut. Yeah. That's, that's the thing they don't tell you, is after you go to space, you no longer take fall damage. Yeah, what even is it? You you level up in that way. Like even when you come back to Earth. No more fall Especially damage. Especially when you come back to Earth. It's actually kind of terrifying. I heard about people getting used to space, you know, and ex having like they spend an extended amount of time in space, come back to Earth and their joints and their bones and everything just can't Oh yeah, can't handle the, the gravity. Microgravity or or no gravity that they've yeah 
been accustomed to. Because you, you, you're not, there's no resistance like there is on Earth in space. So basically your, your bones and your muscles start to just atrophy thin yeah. out. Yeah. And we collected 50 uh, coins, gave it to Piggy, and now we have another Pizza Planet token. Okay. But we're going we're gonna to go ahead, we're going to exit this level. And beyond. His face was a little bit scary right there. What do you mean? That wasn't scary. It was a little scary. So it shows all the things that we that we got. There's one mystery thing. I think there was this a grappling hook. In in the future, I believe. Uh, Save game. Yes, we will. Everyone thanks, must Rex. wait. Oh, no memory. There is a memory okay. card. Whatever. You, what you what? <laughs> We'll figure we'll figure it out. Okay. Famous last words. So here's Andy's neighborhood. Ooh. I'll figure out Woody how to save it. Risked his life to save me. Yeah. I couldn't call myself his friend if I were willing to do the same. And then wasn't it like two? Packing you an extra pair of shoes. Four. He's like. Eyes, he's like. He's like no. I don't. I, don't, I feel like. Woody, when you for. Four, they they kind of made right, made I, Buzz Lightyear's character a lot Lightyear, less. Like like they kind of like smoothed them over. <laughs> you know what I mean? In which best, movie? Son. Four, the newest okay, one. Fellas. Oh yeah, I agree. I, I <laughs> that's something I point out all the time. They made him dumb. Well, yeah. they made him the Patrick Star of this universe. Well, not not just dumb, but kind of just like complacent too. You know, well, the first one, like the first one, he was, you know, kind of brash. He he did things without thinking. This one, he's like super loyal, you know. But yeah, Slinky's dead. <laughs> it was confidence in the beginning, you know. It was confidence, and then it was confidence mixed with knowledge in the second one. The third one and the fourth one, he just started to become dumb. And I'm like, I don't know how you all let that happen. Uh. Okay, I guess we're fighting the lawnmower. The lawnmower that Andy's mom left running because reasons. Or is it sentient? Could be. It that you know it really poses a question Ooh. to the sentience of uh, of of objects, because I'm I'm assuming like uh, a a typical dad would consider the lawnmower as their toy. So, like, does that make does that make this a toy? Well, according to the Pixar theory, things don't really gain sentience until after humans stop existing. Oh. So this is the crossover period. Oh, when humans are about to go extinct. Where the memories that are infused into these objects give life. Give gifts, give life, I see. Yes, you know, before uh before cars happens and planes and Wally Oh, I think this is I think this is the one you can cheat. Oh, okay. So they just they carry the um the challenges over to the next part. Yeah. Okay. Oh, whoops, no. Okay. No, it does it doesn't work. I thought <laughs> I thought there, I thought I there could was, be deceptive and there, cheat. I think I think it might be the first one. That you can actually cheat. You there you go. Beat him without. Oh. Okay, so Mr. Potato Head will always have. On another um, level. Yeah, so there's a lot of like you can come back and do things on these. It's really really interesting also lets us know that andy's back uh, like andy's uh what's it called 
neighbor has a, a nice pool. Extremely close to their house, though. Mm-hmm. Very, very close. Like, you could, you could step out and accidentally go swimming. This must be on the other side, not Sid's side. No, no, no. Yeah, this is on the other side. Sid is, I think, canonically, he's on the, uh, the, was it the right? I don't know. Got, uh, ooh. Yep. Oh, oh, okay. oh that's right. I was like, I can sink. you not swim? No, no, you cannot. All right. It could have been worse. It could have been a Sonic situation where you just straight up die. Yeah. D -d 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 oh, I was thinking of the uh, anxiety inducing. Yeah. All right. So here's here's the main part of this level. This tree. You can definitely tell people's gaming experience by what era of Sonic they realize that they think about. Uh, I just expected yours to be more so the 3D than the 2D. Well, that mine is 2D. Like, or 3D, I mean. My, oh. uh, my, I think the only Sonic game that I remember really playing, uh, like, a lot of is... Heroes and Sonic Adventure Battle 2. Mm -hmm. Which I've never played. <laughs> oh, so sad. Yes, sir. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, oh, no, oh. This is one of those levels that's, like, also really unforgiving, too. Because if we fall down, that's it. Yeah, I imagine. I can see myself getting frustrated. My my 12-year-old self would have been very upset. Uh -huh. Wait, what year was this? Uh, 99? I was not 12. Well, is that was, when Toy 10. Story came out or is that or is that when this game came out? That's when this game came out, 99. Oh. No. Toy Story 2 came out in 99. Yeah. Wait a second. Hey, Marcus, this game was just released. In case you uh, forgot, his his face is still here. No, yeah, Look this game was released in late 1999. Very, the Dreamcast version was in 2000. Very clear version of his face. I hate it. He's winking. Stop. He's not winking. He's aiming. <laughs> no, he's winking. <laughs> he's aiming. You know how you close one eye, and that's supposed to be no, 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 no. If I remember. Uh, even, they even called that myth out in Pocahontas. Oh, yeah. John yeah. Smith was like, why do you aim with one eye? Keep yeah. both eyes open, you dummy. No, I jumped right over it. No. <sighs> and now we have to do it all over again. What's up there? Uh, the boss for this level. Oh. Every level has like a boss that you fight and get a Pizza Planet token. Mm -hmm. um, so to save on time, we're going to just fast forward there. Okay. And uh, we'll see you guys at the top. You know, even for uh, a, uh, a, I guess, a scale difference, just because you're a toy, this tree is huge. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. This... This tree, it, it, look, we're, like, at this point, we are over, like, we are definitely over the, the houses, which yeah. is, is a feat for most, you know, trees, but this tree is just like, nah, I'm going as tall as your house, plus more. All right. We're here at the top. It was literally just that thing. Yeah. This is not the top. You go up further. No, it's right here. Okay. Haha, -ha, defeat the Zerg kite to get a token. Um, now if there's an electronic bit in there that Zerg can control, that's too heavy to be a kite. No, no, no. It is, it is a kite. But, 
that's not how technology or or no, aerodynamics work. No, 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 no. You're forgetting oh. that this is the land of toys that can live. Nah. Wait, are you saying that our toys don't live? Uh. Wait a it, second. Hold it. You can't just say that. No, fine. I uh, they they don't live when you're when you're there. Can you can you not? Oh, that's oh he's only he's oh yeah and 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 he does damage to you, but more importantly, he knocks you over. Off the side of the tree. If you get out of his range, like out of the range of the boss battle, he regains all of his health. Oh no. Yeah. All right, let's charge this up. No. Ooh, that was really close to the edge. Is that his face in the middle of it? I yeah. thought his eyes were like on top, but it looks like he's got a little mustache. All right, come on. Come on. We just need one more shot. Just one more. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness. You're going to jump off the side yourself. No, he deflects them. No. Oh. I am I am on the edge of my seat. I have 8 lives and I do not plan to lose one. Oh, okay. No, 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 oh, no. All no, right, no. well. I am about to lose one. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's that's how kites work. They explode. Yeah. Um you know, Kites. So, now that we have, oh jeez. Oh no. I think there there is something up here, right? Oh, just health. If I wanted to go up there. But yeah. So we're gonna. I think we're gonna move on to the next one. Oh. Huge. Well. There goes arms and legs. No, it's fine. It's fine. I mean, I've thrown toys off of high places before. Wow, you murderer. Arms and legs just happen to not be that connected. I don't see. And now we have Piggy to get. But we'll, we will check out the next, the next world, or like the next stage, next time on uh, Pixel Archive. Alright, see you guys next time.